uh, I mean, the, the biggest piece of advice I would give would be um, understand what you're getting into. I would, I would, would never tell someone not to do a PhD. There's many reasons why someone would want to do a PhD other than, um, you know, directly tied to the employment market. But uh, understand what you're getting into. Um, know information about the program you're getting into, about the academic job market at large, the non-academic non -academic job market at large. Um, this requires a lot of effort, this requires a, a lot of research, a lot of that information just isn't out there. Um, understand that you probably aren't going to get uh, a full-time tenure-track academic position, um, that you may be putting yourself at a disadvantage uh, when you do hit the non-academic job market, that um, you may be at a skills deficit and during your PhD program, you know, to understand that you may have to address a skills deficit as you're doing your PhD program with a view to post-academic employment and to start networking, you know, start, and that's, I mean, goes for both academic and non-academic positions. Just, just start thinking about work <laughs> from the second that you start your PhD because, um, you know, I've, I've seen it myself and I've seen it in other cases, people just, don't really know what to do, you know, when it's over and it's time to start looking for a job.